Hello and welcome everyone. Today I want to show you the perfect wind setup in Space Engineers that's nice and easy to do and will make sure that you have full power. And I'm going to show you how to set that up and then I will explain why it's different and why there's variances that you see with other designs. So first of all we've got our, our fake little base here. I'm going to go ahead and go 11 blocks up from that base. 11 up and then I place a cross here at the top at the very top and then I can place my first wind tur turbine and then as I expand my base I'd need to add more power so I'll just fill out the other sides of this and the nice thing about this is you can actually stand on those squares while you weld up save you a little bit of uh, hydrogen so then I, let's say I needed more power than this, I can bring this out. And I'm gonna go nine blocks. And then on that ninth block, I'm gonna build. So we have eight spaces in between. So 11 up, cross, and then eight spaces. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just bring up the same exact thing next to it here. Going up 11 blocks, building out across. And I'll place turbines here on all the corners and there we go and this is the setup and the reason why oh, I dropped one of these on the ground the uh, the reason why this works better than most is because first of all there is a check for eight blocks away from a turbine and that check happens in all of these directions except for up from it but there's another check that happens, and that's how far away a turbine is from the voxel. And so you do need to have the eight spaces or so, but then you also need to have additional space from the voxel itself. That's why sometimes one turbine will perform differently than others. And I'll go ahead and just show you. Here's an example here. Since this space is used just for the voxel, we can fill that up and if we go here and we take a look at these wind turbines, we see 424.74, and we see that exact same amount on every single one of these wind turbines. So every single one of these, it has optimal wind clearance and is getting the maximum amount that they can. This is very different than most setups. If you just did this a couple blocks lower, you'd see a lot of variance between the power output. So. You keep this up at 11 high, build the cross right at the very top like this, and then eight spaces in between, and you are set. Perfect, no issue with wind from now on. That's really not a lot of extra work from whatever you were doing, I assume, and uh, it'll get you perfect power every time. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below and subscribe if you like videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.